Good afternoon. First of all, I thank uh, VSI uh, for inviting me uh, to this uh, conference. The chairman and the uh, distinguished speakers, audience. Uh, I'll be, now I am a, uh, changed my field. Now I am an extension scientist, not a plant breeder. And uh, I'll be, because so many young scientists may be sitting here, so I'll be, what, what a technology, technology developer should do extra other than the which is required scientifically or as per the job requirement uh, to excel in their field. So my focus will be on uh, those points. Of course, uh, in India, sugarcane breeding uh, initiated in 1912 with the establishment of sugarcane breeding center at Coimbatore. And uh, the first variety was released CO205 during uh, 1918, a cross between Sacrum officinarum and Sacrum spontaneum. And uh, this was uh, achieved uh, under the leadership of Dr. C.A. Barber. Later on, Sir T.S. Venkatraman took over and he started tri-specific uh, hybrids that is involving Sacrum Barberi also in the crossing program. So in India, present day varieties are tri-specific hybrids involving Sacrum officinarum spontaneum and barbari. Of course, uh, a few clones are having sacrum robustum also subsequently. And uh, since 1930 onward, uh, this varietal development program in India has sustained the sugar industry. You can see this graph, both yield and sugar recovery, there is consistent improvement in both the characters, that is sugarcane. <coughs> yield productivity as well as the sugar recovery. And I have mentioned certain varieties also which are important for both sugar uh, recovery as well as sugar, uh, sugar cane productivity. So under, in, at different places of time, uh, different varieties have contributed towards yield improvement and sugar recovery improvement in the country. So the 2020 uh, uh, figure, these five major varieties in the country. Uh, the most prominent variety was uh, CO0238 <coughs> with 54.9% area, CO 86032 with 16.5% area, COM0265 with 6.9% area, CO0118 uh, with 1.27% uh, uh, 2.43% area, and COLK. 94, 184 with 2.33% area. So these five varieties occupy more than 80, 83% of the total area of sugarcane in the country. And the 22, 23, the subtropical region, uh, CO0238 continue to be the leading variety uh, with 72.49 percent area and during current season area has gone down it is uh, still occupying 59.9 percent of the total uh, sugarcane area in five <coughs> subtropical states that is Haryana, Punjab, Uttarakhand, UP and Bihar and uh, next variety is CO0118 with the 10.69 percent area and during current season again it had increased to 16 percent of area and COLK 94184 and CO 989814 uh, are the two other varieties. So if you see the contribution of kernel variety in the subtropical area, it is 85 percent. Approximately 85 percent uh, area is covered by varieties developed from, from the kernel central. So coming to the <coughs> wonder variety CO0238 in the, all the major states apart from no, it, this variety crossed the boundaries of the zone and uh, was cultivated in uh, Bihar, Odisha and Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat also and uh, covered a more than 80% area uh, <coughs> uh, in different, different states. So during uh, 
2014-15 to 2019-20, that is six years, uh, the area of this variety during 1920 was uh, 25.88 lakh hectare area, that is 2.59 million hectare area. And uh, <coughs> as a, this uh, is a rare combination which has increased yield as well as the sugar recovery. Two, these two characters are negatively correlated in sugarcane, but uh, this variety combines both yield and quality. So yield improvement of uh, five subtropical states was 2.44%. This is unit improvement. And uh, cane yield was improved by 19.7 per tons per hectare, average productivity. If we, I have calculated the economics also, so additional benefit to the sugar factory as well as the farmers was 67,010 crore rupees uh, from this <coughs> particular variety. And uh, additional benefit to the farmer was uh, 53,000 per hectare. So a huge economics uh, with this variety. If you see the uh, improvement in yield and uh, recovery during this period, uh, during the period of this particular variety, uh, say from 14, 15 onward, there is a significant improvement in productivity as well as sugar recovery in the country. So if you see, divide the two parts, you see the lower, uh, lowest line, that is subtropical India, and 2013-14 uh, is the base year. From 2014-15, uh, the area started increasing at a very fast rate of this variety, and uh, for Average yield, subtropical India increased to uh, more than 20 tons, already I purchased, and it uh, uh, almost uh, all the regions, this is national, producti national productivity uh, as well as the rest of India, uh, the productivity are at the same level during 1819. If you see the sugar recovery also, the sugar recovery which was very low, less than 9% of subtropical uh, region of the country during 2010-11 and from 13-14 uh, onward with the increasing area of CO0 to 3.8 it, it crossed the uh, national average as well as the uh, rest of the India average. And if we talk about the in UP, because UP is the uh, major beneficiary uh, from this variety, with the increasing area from 3% during 2013-14 to 86.7% uh, during 2021, both yield and sugar recovery has improved. So more than 2.5% sugar, sugar recovery improvement, and yield also increased to more than 23 tons per hectare for, uh, for the UP state. And of course, with the uh, incidence of uh, red rot, the average productivity is uh, increasing, but recovery there is declining trend uh, with, uh, in the UP state now. So it has uh, resulted in the increase in export uh, of sugar from the country. You can see these figures from 2014-15 to uh, 2021. Uh, the quantity ha has improved, the value has improved, and the, with the increasing area of 0 to 238. And this is the cumulative uh, ever growth rate uh, of su sugar, sugar sector. In all the, all the cases, the subtropical India, there is significant improvement in the cumulative growth uh, for whether it is cane yield, sugar recovery, or sugar production, or um, uh, sugar cane production. For all the four parameters, subtropical India is having higher uh, cumulative growth rate compared to rest of the countries or uh, India as an average. And uh, it has sustained the growth rate of the uh, national level also because of improvement in the subtropical region. Then uh, I have calculated rate of return investment, return on investment also. So this uh, cross was made during 2000. Uh, 1996 uh, crossing season 
and uh, 2009 this variety was released. So 13 years expenditure, if you see, of the Karnal Center, uh, which was 27.63 crore rupees. And in six years, that is 2014 to 2019, it has earned uh, 67,010 crore additional uh, income to the farmers. So return on investment was uh, 2,425 times of, uh, the, on the investments. And uh, this uh, particular variety uh, has uh, led to change in the policy decision of the government because earlier bee heavy uh, molasses and use of syrup, sugar, uh, sugar cane juice was not permitted for con uh, converting into ethanol, but uh, because of excess production in the country, uh, these two decisions was taken by the central government that permission to produce ethanol from bee heavy molasses and from sugar cane juice. And then rates of uh, ethanol uh, based on sugar cane juice, uh, B heavy molasses and C heavy molasses, three different rates were announced uh, by the government uh, after this uh, variety. There are so many socio-economic changes that this variety has brought. Uh, different people are telling so many things that uh, everything increased in income of far farmer, Profitability of the farmers or the sugar, uh, sugar uh, factory has increased because of uh, higher sugar recovery. Uh, investment in agriculture se sector has improved because farmers are having more money with them, available with them. Uh, better, better education to the to children, improved housing, and all these things I have seen at different places, particularly if we uh, go to Eastern UP and Bihar. People are telling this has happened only because of cultivation of CO0238. So what next? Now this variety has uh, come to red rot uh, disease in the subtropical India. It started with Bihar and Eastern UP and spreading towards uh, Western UP also this year. So area which was highest during 2021, 86.7% uh, in UP. It has come down to 59.9% during the current season, that is 23-24. But uh, another <coughs> variety from Karnal Center itself is increasing at a very steady rate, that is CO0118. Uh, this year, current season, the area of this particular variety is 16.49%. Uh, it is uh, slightly lower in cane yield. Uh, compared to CO0238, but slightly better in the uh, juice quality. But with the change in uh, package and practices of this variety, the, the yield has improved uh, equal to uh, CO0238. So, so many other varieties have been released. This is the list of uh, varieties released during last eight years, released and notified in the country in different uh, states. Almost nine varieties per year are being, uh, have been released on an average uh, during uh, this particular area. So farmers are having enough choice uh, uh, to decide about the suitable variety which can replace uh, CO0238. Uh, this another variety, CO150238 uh, uh, from Karnal Center itself, having very potential. Of course, yield is slightly bit, uh, lesser, uh, almost uh, 5 tons per hectare. Uh, yield difference is there compared to CO0238, but sugar recovery is higher com compared to CO0238 in this particular variety. And uh, this variety is, area of this variety is increasing uh, uh, in subtropical part of the country. This is, this is another variety recently released, CO60030 from Karnal Center. Of course, mid-late varieties nowadays, uh, area under mid-late variety is negligible, very less, because ma major area is under uh, early maturing varieties. Uh, this is another variety, CO17018 uh, from uh, Karnal itself, uh, yet to be uh, notified, but uh, have been identified for cultivation again a mid mid-late variety. Uh, and uh, all these contributions uh, has led to this award to me. Thank you very much.